Hi everyone, it's Keely. Um, I'm back with another video that's actually on time this week. What a shocker. Um, so the things I'm going to be using today to make this piece of artwork um, is naturally the sketch that I've done on 140 pound watercolor paper. My Holbein Artist Squash, I will have all of the colors listed down below um, that I use. Some brushes, these are a mixture of Taclon brushes and just other synthetic brushes I have. Um, this little palette with little divots in it. Um, this is my color key for my gouache so I know which colors I want to use. And then, yeah, let's get started. Um, I like to use these palettes when I'm working with gouache because I find, um, whole, like, gouache for some reason is really hard to mix the same color twice. Um, so I need to, like, mix all of the color that I'm going to be using at once. Um, so I tend to find that easiest if I use uh, a palette with these little um, indentations in them. Um, I did kind of put down the first few layers of this more in a watercolor fashion, which if any of you have worked with gouache, you know that gouache can be watered down to be more in line with the with how watercolor acts. Um, so just to get her skin really smooth, um, I used it more watered down, which I don't know what it is about doing large, uh, smooth areas with gouache. I can never get it quite right. Um, it always ends up patchy or sticky or my color wasn't mixed well enough, so, yeah. I just figured it would, I would get a better result if I, uh, used it in a more watercolor-like fashion. And you can see Luna's little paws up there as she kept me company through this. <laughs> Bless her little soul. Um, so yeah, the idea for this artwork is something that I've had for actually like a couple years and it's I've, I've recreated it a few times but every time I make it it's never quite like what's going on in my mind and I hit much closer with this rendition but unfortunately it was still not quite what I had in my mind um, I think that choosing the green for her hair was just not the right call um, I, in my mind, really wanted to stick to a pink and blue color palette, and I kind of just let myself get carried away with this, like, really bright green, green color, because I absolutely adore it. Um, I believe it's leaf green? Yeah, it's leaf green in the Holbein Artist Squash, uh, set D, I believe. Um, it's a beautiful color, it's just not, I don't know, it didn't really lend itself in the way that I wanted. Um, so I'm kind of uh, debating redoing this with a blue and pink color palette just because I think that that would uh, be a little bit more like what I had envisioned in my mind. But um, yeah, I was really happy with how the mask came out. I think that the colors I chose for the mask were... I I'm, I'm just really pleased with how it came out. Um, but yeah, I just think her, her hair kind of broke it for me, but you know, it's whatever. Um, but I, I think mostly what I was having issues with with this piece in the beginning was the, the depth of the mask and the fact that masks are curved. Um, so to hold one to the side like that, it was going to have, I don't know, there was something in my mind that was just not working correctly and I was having a really hard time trying to figure out exactly how the dimensions and the curve and the, you know, the textures of it and everything were going to work, so... Um, I think it turned out pretty good, though. I'm pretty happy with the mask. Um, it's just... I'm not super happy with how she turned out. Um, so I still have the sketch, as I did the sketch on sketchbook paper, and then I transferred it to... Um, and also I think that using the really, really bright pink was a bad call. Um, I think it needed to be softer. That just... I don't know. There are a couple mistakes that I made. Anyway, um, I did the original sketch for this on sketchbook paper, and then I transferred it to watercolor paper with my light pad, um, which if you guys are interested, I can also link that below with all the rest of the materials I've used. Um, it's really great. It was given to me by my uh, mother and father-in-law for Christmas last year, um, but it's endlessly useful if you're someone who kind of notoriously ruins watercolor paper like me. Um, but I transferred it to watercolor paper, so I still have the original sketch, and I was kind of debating whether or not I should redo it, because the sketch itself I was extremely happy with. I loved the composition of it. I was so proud of myself. I was absolutely in love. Um, it's just the painting that didn't really transition the way I wanted it to. 
Um, I also wasn't really sure about choosing gouache for it. I wanted gouache to work, but I wasn't sure if it was going to. Um, I think it really, uh, I think it really added to the depth and texture of the mask. Um, but as for, you know, her skin and, um, her hair and whatnot, I don't really think it added that much, so I'm not really sure if the hassle of working with gouache was worth it necessarily. Um, also, in a minute, um, you'll see that I've, oh, here we go, there it is. Um, I've added in this yellow color. I think the green almost could have been saved, but then when I added in that yellow, it was like, alright, this is officially a color barf fest. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I need to redo it, essentially. But, um, I've redone this piece so many times that I, I'm afraid I'm never gonna get it right. But, you know, best effort. Um, oh, hey, I also hit a couple milestones that I wanted to mention real quick. Um, one, I just hit 50,000 followers on Instagram, and that was really, really cool. So, thank you, everyone who was a part of making that happen. I really appreciate it, and all of your support and love is amazing. And yeah, I just really love you guys, and that was just like really, really neat to see that happen. Um, second, I hit 3,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is also really cool, because um, I, I know in recent months I've not been as active on YouTube as I would like to be, or you guys deserve to see. Um, but you guys still stuck around and, you know, were interested in my work, and I just really appreciate that, and that was, like, really cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully, now that my life has, like, kind of calmed down a little bit, I'm not, you know, on the verge of a wedding anymore, I'm not moving, um, I'll be able to continue to put out content on a more regular basis. Um, I have a few vlogs that I either have recorded or I have, um in mind to record, so I'm going to try and see if I can start getting up maybe two videos a week. I know that's pretty ambitious, especially as someone who couldn't even post once a week for two months. Um, but yeah, I just want to like really give more to YouTube because I think that it's a really cool platform and I really like making videos. Um, and I know that it's really helpful for you guys out there who are trying to just, you know, learn the same way that I taught myself and that's through seeing how other people's process work. Um, so if I have any anything to lend to you guys in the way of um, improving your artwork, I would love to lend it because uh, I wish that when I was trying to teach myself, I knew about more people and more resources that were um, helpful in the means of teaching yourself how to do the things that you see, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so... I, I don't know, that's that's kind of it. That, those are just two, like, really cool milestones for me, and I was just, I'm just really grateful to have the supporting community that I have online, because I never really thought that I would be able to get here, and here I am, and it's really, really cool that there are so many people who are so interested in what I do and are so supportive of the artwork that I like to make. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> That was just really neat to me. Um, like always, I will have all of the things I used to make this artwork listed in the description down below. All of my ins not my Instagram, my social media handles will be down there. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Um, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, I will hopefully see you guys next Tuesday or maybe sooner than that with more vlogs. Um, and I will catch you all later. Thank you guys again so much for contributing to my online experience. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye!